I thought I would show you my Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panel system here is mounted on the roof a little late in the day but the sun's still shining on it let me go to the garage and show you the rest of it <clears throat> got the wires coming in right there and coming over here there's my little solar charger came with it I got my big old Jupiter here 5,000 continuous 10,000 watt surge it says um, mainly wanted to show you the battery there's a million solar videos out there this particular battery I got at autos I know it's upside down sorry uh, is they say it's a hundred and six amp hour battery and I paid less than a hundred dollars for it brand new I looked all over the place for a battery and it wasn't even a hundred amp hours and they were expensive a lot more expensive than this and um, for the price of this I can get a couple of them two or three of them actually and uh, I have this system I'm not trying to be off-grid I'm not one of those off-grid kind of guys but in an emergency situation for a refrigerator or TVs, microwave, charging your stuff, you know, if you had to go without power for a little while, I figured this would be a big help in having a big enough one of these to do it. Got a good deal on this too, found it at a pawn shop. Uh, paid 200 bucks for it. Eh, probably could have got it cheaper, but it's in good shape. And, uh, It'll turn this thing on. Um, let's see here. Power that thing up. And it'll uh, I'll flip it on. You can see the little thing come on here. It's running it. It says on the side, uh, 5 amp. Somewhere over here. I'm trying to remember where it said it. There it is, 120 volt, 5 amp, right there. So, converted over, you're looking at a 50 amp draw off this battery. That's kind of how they say it works. It's like, for every amp that you need on a device, your power inverter needs 10. So, I'm sure you've heard about that already. So, and look at there, still at 12.8. I ran a microwave earlier, heated up some stuff just to try it out. And, you know, 13.8 is just your shelf, just sitting there doing nothing. It's always going to go down when you draw stuff on it. And it maintained for 20 minutes I had that thing running at 12.6. Uh, so, and it's, you know, the microwave said uh, 1,500 watts. I'm sorry, 1,058 watts on the back. So, that's pretty good. But it does use the juice. That's why I'm hoping to get a few more of these batteries. But anyway, I mainly just wanted to show you that battery. You can buy a bunch of those. That is a marine battery, by the way. And it's a uh, 29DPDL. And uh, they told me that it was 106 amp hours. I looked it up online, and that's what it says also. But I'm a little confused because it's got a 210 reserve capacity. I don't know. They got that 25 amp uh, mathematical equation. And when you do it, it seems like it's around the 80, 80 plus amp hour. But anyway, for under 100 bucks, I think it's worth it. You can get a few of them get one a month or something well there you go that's mine anyway thanks for watching it